And when you shoot the enemy, he should light on fire. Damage over time should kill him eventually. Hey guys, welcome back to this tutorial series where we are remaking Call of Duty Zombies in Unity 3D from scratch. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set an enemy on fire. And this could be anything from shooting them with incendiary ammo or walking over flames or exploding barrels. It doesn't really matter what, but we'll show you how to trigger the enemy being lit on fire through scripting and with a particle system that we make ourselves. So let's jump into this tutorial. The first thing we want to do is add an empty object to our enemy object. So click on the enemy object and go to create empty child. And I'm going to rename this fire animation. So inside of this object, we want to add component and search for particle and particle system will come up, select particle system. And we're going to make this look like a flame. The first thing we're going to do is rotate this. So it is directing upwards and click on shape, set the angle to five and set the radius to 0.5. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click the lock icon up in the right corner of the inspector. And this will make sure that if I click something else in the scene, the object that we have selected won't be removed from the inspector. It just makes it easier in case you accidentally click something else. And then set the start lifetime to 0.75, start speed to one. And then on start size, we want to click the arrow on the right hand side of the box and select random between two constants. And here do 0.1 to 0.3. This will give the particles a more organic look if they start with different sizes. And then on max particles, I'm going to put it at 100, open the emissions tab and set the rate to 40. Then I'm gonna hit W on the keyboard to bring up the slider arrows and drag it up to where it's around his waist. Then we'll select color over light time by clicking the radio button. Open up your color and I have a preset color here that emulates fire and I'll go through each of the tabs. So for the alpha, we have a starting position of 150, a little past halfway, another one at 150 and the very end at zero. This will let the fire fade out towards the end. And for color, we start with white. The second tab is yellow. We have a third tab that's orange and a fourth tab that's more red. And then next we're gonna do size over lifetime. If you click that and open up the editor for that, the start size will be 3.0 and the end size, we're gonna drag back down to one. So now it's starting to look a little bit more like a flame. Now down in render, we're going to select the render mode to stretch billboard. This will give it more of a flame look and we could use a preset flame. Uh, Unity has a lot of assets that are already available, but I figured I would just show you how to make a flame with the particle system, just so you know how to use that better. So now we have something that looks pretty decent like a flame on our zombie. And if we hit play, we can see what the enemy will look like while he's walking around. So you can see, it looks like he's on fire now. So click on play on awake now in the particle system inspector so it doesn't play when the enemies spawn. Now we're gonna go into the scripts and script it so we can tell the game when we want the enemies to light on fire. To do this, we're going to go into the enemy controller, which if you click on your enemy in the scene, you can see the script in its components. So you can double click that and it'll bring up the enemy controller. Now we wanna get a reference to the particle system. So first we are going to define a particle system fire animation and also we want to track if the enemy is on fire so bool if on fire and then set the default to false so the first thing we want to do is initialize the fire animation so in the awake function we're going to have the fire animation pull the particle system from the child object so get component in children and make sure you select get component in children and not get components in children or else it will give you an array and what we want is the particle system and then close out that function. So next we're going to create a function that tells our enemy controller to set the enemy on fire. So here we're going to create a function called set on fire. And in this we want to set on fire equals true and we want to trigger our fire animation. So fire animation dot play and then back in the update function we are going to take away health when it's on fire over time. So here we will say if 
on fire. And we can use the function that we had before to apply damage. And we want to apply, let's try 0.05 per update. And now we need to tell the game when to set the enemy on fire. I'm gonna do that in the weapon script new script. This handles all the damage that's applied to the enemy. So we're gonna find the part of the script that says if hit.transform.tag equals enemy. So we know that when ammo hits it, it will apply damage to the enemy controller. We're going to use the same function here and you can just copy and paste it below. We're gonna set on fire. And we don't need any of the rest of this. So you can delete that and just send messages word set on fire and that will run the set on fire function, which will set our enemy on fire. So now save the script. We need to go back and save the enemy controller in our game, hit play. And when you shoot the enemy, he should light on fire and damage over time should kill him eventually. Maybe the damage wasn't high enough. Oh, he almost got us there. And now he's dead. So we could modify the damage so that he dies faster or that could be long enough. You can mess around with it. But now we have enemies that light on fire when we shoot them and they die after their health runs out. And you can also stop the flame on the timer if you wanted to. And you could do a lot more with the flames. You could add smoke to the flames to make it more realistic. You could add a light to it so that it looks like it's emitting light. Actually, that's really easy. So let's just add a light on the object that we put on the enemy, the fire animation. So if we go here, we can add component and light and make it a point light range 10. That's probably good and intensity one. So now they'll emit a light and you could do the same thing with the particle effect to give smoke. And I actually did a tutorial previously on how to add smoke to a flame, so check that out. I'll put a link on the screen for that. And that's all we're covering today on this tutorial. The next tutorial will be coming out in a week. If you have any suggestions or you wanna see anything implemented into this game, let us know in the comments and we will base what we do next on the comments from you guys. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments and we'll get back to you. If it was helpful, please consider subscribing. We'll continue to put these out weekly. I know we had a long break there, but we had some things come up and now we should have more time to release one a week. So make sure you subscribe and like and share and all that stuff. It helps us out a lot. And as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.